Four years ago, we bought this street. It's made up of 12 flats, six one bedroom and six two bedroom. And we've linked together with a wonderful church and this is in a beautiful town in North Wales. And we're looking after now something like 20 people that were homeless four years ago and now are living in some of the best flats in the town. This is what Green Pastures is all about. Green Pastures is a social enterprise and as a social enterprise we're there in community seeking to help those that are most marginalised and need housing. We know that once they get their, their foot back on the first rung of the ladder, it starts giving them confidence in their lives again of where they're going to go and what they're going to do. And with the influence of some churches and the pastoral care they put in, it means really most of them guaranteed a successful improvement in their lifestyle and re-entry into community. We've been doing this now for a long time, but actually out in the country, as a national social enterprise unit, we've been doing it for seven years. And we're just so excited that there's now 36 towns in the country that have houses and that we are seeing different things happen. Every year something new happens. At the end of last year we signed our first contract, which was a nine and a half million contract, pound contract, to actually build 97 houses or be influential in those 97 houses being built. It was with an Anglican church and it was in uh, the, the east side of London. It's fabulous to see not only a new church being built, a community centre, jobs are most probably for 50 or 60 people, but also to see that it will pay for two full-time youth workers in one of the most deprived areas in the nation. And they will be there paid for for three years and accommodated. And it's because a number of people have come together. The diocese, a wonderful building company which is called Colonnade. It also has another group that actually set it up which is just amazing and so we have been privileged to join in with them and the local authority to make this happen. And yet every year we see things happening and this year already we've had the privilege of going to see the Housing Minister the House of Commons and even though we're a small Christian operation we actually are looking to do a pilot in line with what government schemes are so that we actually can look at how we can affect a larger area. So we're looking at somewhere in Merseyside where we can operate in the larger scale in conjunction with the needs that the government is saying they have. The great thing to us as well is that over the last seven years, people that have been housed by partners, when we've done the research, 27% of them have become Christians. That's just an amazing fishing net. I often think that the houses we buy are like boats, fishing boats. We'll be going out and fishing. And it's just wonderful to see the changes in the lives of people that we are privileged to see housed with our partners. And the phenomenal job that our partners do, they are absolutely amazing. I just wish we had time to go around and visit every one of them and you could see what fabulous people we work with and how dedicated they are to serving Christ in this day, this generation and in community with some of the most marginalised people. Let me commend to you that you either partner with us, which is very easy, go on our website, or as many people have been doing, and that is take out our loan stock. We're still paying 5% on loan stock, you loan us money, that helps us to purchase property. So let's see the church working together in harmony across the nation and bringing about the change we all desire, but it happens better when we work together. This is the uh, soup kitchen, and the soup kitchen has now been running for 10 years. Uh, we opened it as Shoreline Church, and we got other people involved, and then they're running it as a separate charity. So four days a week, and uh, it used to be two days, and this is just great what it's doing. It's producing most probably 75 meals every day and uh, at this moment in time um, they have the place free of charge and so it's most probably had an investment of £75,000 so far from GP and it looks like it will run for another five years at least. Hello, I'm Peter Johnson I'm from Christchurch. I help run the soup kitchen along with a team of other people. We open every Thursday night between 7 and 8 p.m and we get approximately 15 to 20 people coming, probably more people in the summer. Hi, my name is Andy Carpenter. I work for the Salvation Army here in Shakespeare Street. 
Um, we have the warehouse here which we su supply furniture to people who are in need and also we sell it out to the public who then donate to us and we make the money is then put towards other things in the community. We try to help out anybody uh, who is in need. We supply them with all furniture, clothing, uh, brick, you know, all the bits and pieces that you need to start up home. And uh, and that's really uh, all we do here. Hi, uh, my name's Mark, and I'm one of the volunteers here at Shoreline Food Bank. Um, each week, we help over a thousand people, and we collect from about nine bakers who donate their food to us. Hi, I'm Gary Foles. I'm Southport Centre Manager for Christian Zines Poverty. Uh, to date, we've been going seven years, and we've helped over 500 people through a debt program. At the moment we're helping 84 families go through debt uh, and we are seeing real impact in the local community here in Southport. I'm Isaac Caldwell, I run uh, Pathways Mentoring for Shoreline Housing uh, and basically that uh, routes back into work for our tenants and a, a wider variety of people. Um, it starts off as a, a voluntary based role um, and if we can make it work then we move it on to uh, a paid position. Uh, last year we've managed to employ five people um, and the goal ultimately is to win souls for God. Hi, my name is Rebecca Cunningham and I work for Shoreline Housing based in Shoreline Church in Southport and we are a partner of Green Pastures. I work with a fabulous team of people and um, we work with the homeless and anybody in need. Uh, we try on a daily basis um, to, to help people who have issues and needs, not just in regards to homelessness, um, <clears throat> but issues that they have in their life. Um, we currently house around 210 people and we have about 130 units around the Southport area uh, to house these people in. Hi, my name's Dave Gregg. I'm from the Community Church. And here we just want to tell you about a little initiative that we do during the course of the year where three or four times a year we host what we call VIP evenings where those who live in hostels or, or homeless, uh, we invite them in uh, with our friends from the soup kitchen and we spoil them. We give them a great reception, a wonderful three course meal, we give them toiletries and we give them access to some clothing. It's great to do that and share the love, the life of Jesus with them in a very practical way. And it's good to partner with a whole team of people here at the Community Church who just want to bless those who maybe aren't as fortunate as themselves. Hi, I'm David Taberner, or many people know me as Tabs. Uh, I, I, grow, I grew up at Liverpool Road Methodist and I'm still a member there and I just started working as a schools worker with the Southport Area Schools Worker Trust. Um, that's a trust which work with a PAYS team of four and we go into schools, we do assemblies, we do lunch clubs, after school clubs and we do um, three main presentations a year. Church used to be the centre of community throughout the history of our country um, and in today's society it's sometimes difficult to see it in that same way whereas school I believe is a place where we find the most diverse spread of people in our society and that is the area that we go and we minister to. I, I believe that there is hope for young people, hope for children and we want to share that that they may grow up into a world where they can find love and hope and uh, find their way in the world with the help of Jesus. Hey, I'm Louisa Hoskins. I'm part of the PACE team that is based in Southport. And we're all based in different churches and work for the church, serve the church. But at the same time as team, we go into schools together to serve schools as well and influence young children, young people, and young Christians in their schools and help them and equip them to do God's work. Uh, hi, my name's Barry. Uh, I work for um, the Pathways uh, Enterprise, the Social Enterprise. Uh, Forum and um, the whole idea is to encourage our GP residents uh, to uh, become available if they want to, to come out and uh, do some work, which can lead through the pathway system back into employment. So it's a good opportunity and a chance to, um, 
to get the alarm clock on, make a few sandwiches, meet me in the morning, come out and do some work, and hopefully it'll lead to, um, to my employment. Uh, it does work, it is successful, and this is one guy that has come and uh, been involved with the enterprise. And Jesse, um, hi, I'm Jason, I work with Barry, I'm GP, um, I've been with him about 18 months. Um, um, yeah, we've been working with the GP Gardens ever since.